Hi, welcome back to Do Info. Today is January 4, 2022, and the most user are complaining that they were having issue with a VPN connection. So I thought I'd just make a quick video how to fix this latest VPN issue. So I'll first of all, I will show you what is the problem. I am on my laptop here. I connected with uh, my iPhone uh, as a hotspot connection. And here you can see is top on my VPN when you try to connect and boom. All of a sudden you will get a can't connect to my VPN the L2TP connection attempt failed because the security layer encountered a processing error during the initial negotiation with the remote computer. So this is the error message uh, uh, you are getting and uh, when you go to event log and it will log an entry with uh, error number 789 so if you have done all the necessary steps like which you used to we used to do in order to resolve this error but you're still getting this error then then you need to watch this video and follow these steps you are gonna fix this error message and uh, you are good to go to connect to your VPN connection so let's go ahead and resolve the issue what's the issue is Microsoft just released a new January 22 cumulative update which is causing the issue so if your computer has installed that new update which is I will show you right in a moment go to computer settings okay then go to update and security and view update history that uninstall updates and here you can see I just installed this morning this uh, 14 January 2022 I installed this uh, security update for Microsoft Windows which is KB5009543 so this KB KB sorry KB5009543 is causing the issue that's the culprit of this uh, this problem Microsoft acknowledged this they said um, in their uh, latest uh, news that uh, they acknowledge they were having issue uh, people are having issue after installing this update and uh, they are working on it but meanwhile you can click here uninstall this update it's a pretty big update it will take about uh, uh, two three minutes to uninstall depend on your um, computer speed but uh, once you uninstall this update I also noticed few users also mentioned when they try to uninstall they are not able to uninstall the this update it it says uh, it's really important for the windows you are not able to allow but uh, once we uninstall this one I will show you the the method uh, if you get that error message and you are not able to uninstall how you still can uninstall that update so let's uh, uh, let it uninstall this one first and then uh, I will show you the second method
Okay, as you can see, it has uninstalled. Let's go and restart your computer. Okay, so my computer has restarted. First of all, just go ahead and check if that update has been uninstalled and is not listed in the Windows update history. So click here, view updates, history, uninstall update and uh, you can see 5009543 is not listed here anymore it has been removed now we go ahead and try to connect our vpn let me turn on my hotspot connection because i am sitting in a at work so it won't connect to the VPN to work if I am using the same network so here you can see my iPhone 12 connect okay so we is connected to my hotspot and now let's connect to my VPN we'll see what it says connecting verified completed oh boom you can see my vpn is connected now it's just a matter of uninstalling that latest windows update which is kb5009543 uh, i hope this will help to resolve your problem if you are still having issue if still getting that error message please comment down below and uh, we will try to fix your problem okay now for those people who are getting an error message or they are unable to install this KB5009543 update uh, which is a, a January uh, update from latest update I would say from Microsoft so what they have to do they need to boot your computer in in the safe mode and then you would be able to uninstall that up there so how to boot your computer in the safe mode you press windows logo key plus r on your keyboard type m s c o n f i g m s config press enter on the new menu or new pop-up window click on boot and then click on safe boot and uh, the minimum one uh, it will be clicked automatically so once you do this apply ok restart your computer and the next time your computer reboot automatically in the safe mode then go to that windows and security and uninstall that kb5009543 then restart your computer and once you come back up you remember go here again and uncheck this safe boot and then apply ok so then next time your computer won't boot in a safe mode it will boot up in a normal mode and then you would go ahead and try to connect your VPN connection and I hope that will work and if it's not working for you please let me know and uh, I will try to resolve your issue Take care. Bye-bye.